increased adoption of new agricultural technologies and innovations sensitive to climate change can help sub-Saharan Africa eradicate food insecurity, according to experts. According to statistics, over 60% of the African youth are unemployed, yet the continents hold 65% of the world's arable land, and thus the agricultural sector could employ young people. Rapid deployment of new technologies and innovations could attract young people to the agricultural sector where they shy away from. To avert this, AgriMec Africa has come up with a solution for farmers. Started in 2016, AgriMec Africa has developed mechanized hubs where farmers can get mechanized agricultural equipment as well as farm inputs. Agricultural engineer Pascal Kambudo, the managing director for AgriMec Africa, says that farmers need mechanized solutions to unlock the potential of their farms. AgriMec is providing a solution. AgriMec Africa Limited is setting up mechanization hubs all over the country. A mechanization hub is a platform one or a place where farmers can come and, and get services for the, for, for the work that they need to do. If you need a plow, if you need uh, to, 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 uh, to harrow, if you need to spray, if you need you know, direct seeders, which are conservation agriculture equipment, which we are, which we are promoting, and, and all that. There is a, it's a billion dollar business to be made by anyone who can crack the, the, uh, the secret of how to serve these farmers uh, disorganized and all over the place like they seem to be. These are very serious business people by the way once you organize them and put them in groups like we are doing around our hubs. His farm already offers mechanized agricultural solutions such as two-wheel tractors for farmers mostly in far-flung counties. Kambudo says that the challenge to produce more food will be more necessary in 2050 than ever in Africa's history because of the growing population. He adds that mechanization would support structures for smallholder agribusinesses favorable to youth and women are needed to foster food security. In Kenya's food basket counties of Daraka, Meru, Nyandarwa, Narok, Marakwet and Wasingishu, Agrimex impact is already being felt. While mechanized farming seems to have gained traction in South Asia, in Africa, farming is still hard work. Mechanization hubs are turning around these in a big way. If you compare the power available in Africa compared to, say, South Asia, where India is, where India is situated, you find that um, we have only 0.2 kilowatts for every hectare of land compared to 2.2. 0.2 compared to 2.2 kilowatts for, for every hectare of land that, uh, that, we, that we are supposed to, to, to produce our food from. Sadly, in Kenya, 60% of the land is idle because farming is hard work to be funded by Australians to be able to, 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 to bring in conservation agriculture with two wheel tractors for, for, for our country. We are looking at uh, expanding into the Raqqa, where our, our, our very, very beautiful uh, entrepreneurial ladies, they are uh, aggregating sorghum for breweries. These, 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 uh, these, these farmers down there have got some 17,000 farmers connected with them. Imagine 17,000 farmers having to deliver sorghum and they are all beating it with a spray to crush it. Um, what a machine will do in, a, in, a, in one hour is what they are doing in six days. We cannot continue like this. We are looking at an, an expansion into all the hot spots of, uh, of, of uh, farming and mechanization in this country. We are looking at Baraka, we are looking at uh, Lower Meru, we are looking at um, uh, Kinangop area, all these places where we do potato. We are looking at Narok, we are looking at Leo Marakwe, we are looking at the, uh, the, the, this, the um, the bread basket of the country, was in Gishu, you know, Adoret, Kitale, Kakamega, all those areas. By the time we set up all these hubs, I can tell you our farmers are going to be very rich and we are, and we are going to be billionaires. Through land use consolidation, farmers are now getting not just mechanized equipment, but an array of other services like agrovet and farm inputs at the mechanization hubs. According to Pascal Kambudo, 
there are still more farming methods that farmers can use to sustainably till their lands, not necessarily banking on plowing as the only way. The farm has won accolades across the globe for championing the two-wheel tractor, which remains an innovative way of transforming the lives of smallholder farmers through affordable mechanization. The destruction of the environment that is happening with all that plowing going on is another predicament. And we need to have the solutions of how to, to plant directly without, without, uh, without having to plow, preserving the soil from erosion. We see farmers who don't have to buy the equipment, farmers who are coming for services. We see a solution for county governments and others who continue to buy tractors, dumping them there and expecting them to work for, for our farmers. We have a solution where farmers come, not just for, uh, in the long run, not just for, for, for the, for the uh, mechanization, but also inputs in an organized sense. We are teaming up with input providers. We are teaming up with the financiers. We are also organizing farmers to form cooperatives so that they can be able to afford our services. Call it land use consolidation. And not land consolidation. I'm talking about land use consolidation. There are many challenges facing farmers in Kenya. One of these is post-harvest losses. Most farmers are compelled to sell their produce at throwaway prices when the demand is low simply because they cannot afford to hold their produce for long. They lack post-harvest storage facilities. The country incurs post-harvest losses to the tune of over 50 billion Kenya shillings every year, according to a report. The loss, representing 60% of food produced expensively, is incurred due to poor logistics between the farm and the collection points. Kambudo observes that smallholder farming presents logistical challenge due to the fragmentation of production into small units. For Kambudo, serving farmers has not been easy. These farmers have nothing else but a hole in hand. We know the pain of toiling the whole day to produce so little that the, 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 uh, the broker just comes and picks and sells for a fortune next door. We are trying to make agriculture sexier for our youth to stay on the farms. We, in our hubs, we have a, a, a section where youth can come, buy small machines through us, and then pay for it slowly as they work, and give a commission to the, to, to, to the hub. This way, the smaller machines, the jack planter, the two-wheel tractor, the smaller machines are actually will be offered, operated by youth as their own business, serving the small scale farmers as we do the bigger stuff. Other than facing opposition from anti-mechanization crusaders, reaching large numbers of farmers has never been a smooth ride, especially with limited resources. His farm recorded a net loss of 2 million shillings in its first year of operation. A lot of time mechanization is taken as the, the way of getting labor off the farm and, uh, and making people jobless. Why is it that when it comes to farming, Suddenly it becomes rocket science. We have to find this, we have to bring donors, we have to... Farmers just want to be paid for the work they do. But somehow when it comes to farming and agriculture, everything suddenly becomes very complicated. Timothy Mwangi, Agrimex Finance Director, says that unmechanized farming is highly inefficient, the reason why the farm has made this its core business. After setting up and laying the groundwork, Agrimec is rearing to grow rapidly in the next two years, changing the lives of farmers across the country. Ideally, we've had the concept uh, about mechanized farming for small-scale farmers. And the, the reality is that the, the farmer is still unmechanized, operating unmechanized, and hence highly inefficient. Uh, our core services team, which is uh, our core services, which is uh, mechanization, has the advantage of getting these farmers organized in a in a in a cooperative form of a movement. Therefore, ideas like aggregation of land use, uh, uh, aggregation the inputs, we know in our seasonal climates, some people are harvesting wheat while others are planting. 
it is possible to logistically move move uh, harvesters to places where they need to be to be harvesting, so that the hub becomes very efficient. And this is uh, one of the reasons that our growth are going to get to grow exponentially. But at this moment, we 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 have the core business of dealing with dealing with mechanization as a core. Potato farmers are already reaping the full benefits of Agrimec Africa's intervention. Through a supported storage facility developed by Agrimec, farmers in the food basket county of Nyandarwa are earning three times more from their potato farm. Through such an impact, Agrimec is tremendously becoming a key cog in the wheels of agricultural productivity in the country. Call it land use consolidation not land consolidation, I'm talking of land use consolidation, where all the farmers in the Mount Kenya region start growing potato uh, in the north of, north of Mount Kenya, and then all of them are growing potato. We also have storage, we can aggregate that crop for them, we can mechanize it. We're talking about, just listen to these statistics, what 14 women and 4 men can do in 4 days can be done in four hours using mechanization for potato farming. We cannot continue this way. We cannot create the food security, the wealth that this country needs if we don't provide power at farm level in a way that is accessible to farmers and, 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 uh, and uh, in, a, in a sustainable way. Kambudo is optimistic of improving conservation agriculture through Agrimec Africa, but he needs funding. This is the reason why Intellicap Group is bringing in investors to help him raise over 50 million shillings to scale up his venture, whose usefulness has the potential of touching many lives. At the fourth San Calp Africa summit held in Nairobi in February, Agrimec Africa emerged among the top 10 companies with the greatest impact on people. We actually won out of I think 270 ideas and they needed something like 12, we were on top because of our usefulness of our, of our, of our idea and, and the impact it can create. Uh, we, as, as, we, as we finished the proof of concept stage, uh, we, were, we were directed to Intellicap. Intellicap are helping us bring in big investors we need something like 50 million dollars shillings uh, and uh, to be able to bring in the to add on to the machinery to be able to have more hubs running and, to, and, to, and, and in that process we again we became winners in the sense of uh, a good business idea an impactful business idea that brings food security and, and kills poverty that that's why we are here we are winners and we have been very proud of it